Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here this evening. Hey folks, tonight we're going to do a little uh, unboxing slash review on this draw knife, five inch draw knife that I purchased off of Amazon, okay? So bring the camera just a little bit closer. Let me bring that closer right there. This is made by a company called Beaver Craft Woodworking. All right, so let's bring the camera on over here. Come on over closer to the box here. The, the toolbox, I mean. And I'm gonna open this sucker. We're gonna see what's inside. Let's see what is inside. What is this? Band-aids? <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. You sell a tool, a sharp tool, like a knife or something. You give the people some band-aids. That is so cool. And I have never heard of that either. And actually, look here. They're probably made in Ukraine. Because the, the, evidently the tool was made in Ukraine. So those band-aids are probably made over there too. Boy, I'm going to hang on to them suckers. I may need them. Now it comes with this nice little um, leather um, thing that snaps over the blade. Let's go ahead and unsnap it here. And check it out. This thing must be sharp if they send band-aids with it. So as you can see, we got a one bevel cut going this way right here. And... Ooh, that does feel kind of sharp. Let's see if it'll cut the hair off my arm right quick. Let's see if it'll shave. That'll be the first test for it, friends. And then we'll try to shave a little bit of... Will it shave hair? Feels like something's happening there. I don't know. Let's see if there's any hair right there. Maybe not. Okay, maybe it's not quite that sharp enough for the band-aids yet. But guys, I guarantee you that if I uh, got a file on here, got my little honing stone, I could put an edge on here sharp enough to shave some hair. All right, stay tuned. We'll show you how to use it. All right, guys, this is actually my first time at using a draw knife, so let's see what happens here. What we got? We got one of our saw bucks here. We brought it in right quick because I'm still trying to figure out a place to mount my bench vise. But anyway, here we go. We're just gonna see how it does here. Ooh, look at there, that looks nice. That's pretty cool. So if we wanted to radius this here side. So we'll see here, kind of cut away. It actually does pretty good, I like that. I like the control of this one. Cause folks, they make the draw nice. Bring the camera up here one time. I'm sure you folks have seen the ones where you actually, you're holding out on a handle like in this fashion or what have you. And I was trying to make the decision as to whether or not I wanted to want one like that or like this. I think I like this better since I'm not really as experienced in using one. I think this might be easier for me at first for what I'm gonna be using this for. Actually, I'm gonna use this to <clears throat> help fit some of those axe heads that I might that you might have seen me talk about in another video when I start fitting them to some new handles I'm gonna to have to be working on them and shaving Ooh, that's a big chunk there guys it seems to cut pretty doggone good okay now this is just with some soft pine let's see what it does like I got a hickory handle over here we're gonna to try to work on it a little bit so stay tuned for that Okay, now here's my hickory handle, brand new axe handle, okay? But they come from the factory with this varnish on them and I don't want that on my handle, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this blade. Now I'm not gonna hold it like this to where I'm gonna cut and dig in. I'm actually gonna turn it around backwards, okay? So here's the cutting edge, but we got it turned around backwards this way, like so. And I'm gonna just come here and just start raking. I'm gonna start raking across here. And all I'm wanting to do, and look at look at what's pulling off of there. Pulling off that varnish and just the ever so thin layer of, of uh, wood. But not enough to really matter. But, but I'm just going to go across this whole thing. This is what I bought this for. Was to be able to go across all these handles and quickly take all this varnish off of here. Guys, this thing is working great for that, okay?
Folks, it's doing a great job on that. As you can see, this stuff just peels off so easy. We'll get, get this off of here, and then we can take um, probably some 220 grit or so on the orbital on the cross tear. And then we'll be ready to uh, burn our handles and soak them in linseed oil and make them look really cool. So guys, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this tool, okay? This is pretty awesome. I, I'm excited about my purchase here. Um, I'm going to, it looks like it's going to be easy to sharpen if it does get dull. Right now it seems to be fine for what I'm doing. doesn't really need to be any sharper than this. But uh, if I do, uh, it will be probably as simply as using like a stone to kind of um, sharpen up this edge. But folks, I will put one of these, uh, uh, the link for this uh, right down below in case you want to purchase one of these yourself. Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Take care.